Hey everyone, it's Leanne. It's December 27th. I should put my glove on here. And I'm across the river from where I found the prints last spring. And I want to capture this in real time. I just came to check up on the few structures that were here and they've all transformed. I don't even know what's going on here. Well, I think I do. I'm going to work it out kind of live with you. So first of all, the river is through this thick area of trees over there. And it's on the other side where I found all those prints in the, in the mud early spring. Now, there used to be a beautiful teepee around this tree and around this tree, and I made a note of this one branch coming out of the side of it, acting almost like a steeple. And it's all been <laughs> cleaned up, moved. Well, I don't know where it moved to, but look here. This is a completely new structure completely that nothing was here I was last here about three weeks ago I'm not kidding and nothing really had changed I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary and now look at this whoa one long backbone that goes up I don't even know how it's sitting up oh, there's a small branch off that a small pine in front of the big pine and there's been a bunch of branches, probably recycled from the two behind me, that are now up on either side of that backbone. That's so beautiful! And look! This is new! This has been redone! That's new! That's new! Oh! That's been redone! That's been changed! Oh my goodness! Oh! And that little guy is new! What's been going on here? So look here. Oh my gosh, look how big this uh, probably oak is. Yeah, lots of oak leaves in the ground. Wow. Look at all this wood that was brought in. No one major backbone, just a lot of wood crisscrossed against one another against this huge, beautiful tree. Hokey doodly. And look here. And look here. Okay, so this. When I found it last spring, had a couple of couple branches, you know, arranged along this backbone, and I think I actually said in the video I wouldn't be surprised if either this transforms or it was an old structure that had fallen down. Down, and now look, look, look at this. How beautiful is that? Whoa! And this is new! This was in here? <laughs> wow! Bunch of wood stood up around one live tree, no major backbone. But I like this one piece that's sticking out a bit more than the others. Oh my gosh! So spectacular! Look, there's Alright, take a look at this here. So here's this new small little teepee. Look at this! Cool, awesome. Yank that branch like it was just pulled right out of the living tree. Just so awesome when you see that happening. There's just not time to even really carefully look at all of these. It's about like minus 10 with wind chill. It's so cold today. Look at that cute little horizontal there. Oh, and a nice curly branch going up there. Nice V. And look here, this is new. There had been a small little stand of three or four things on that tree. That have been there since the start. There's just one piece left, but look, look at this. Just lovely, beautiful pieces of wood all around similar diameter. There's the piece of wood. I was gonna say there was a red old plank board that used to be standing over there or over there, one of the two. And it's been reused All right, here. So I just want to show you a couple other things here. Check out this charred piece of birch. It's broken on either end. Looks like actually quite fresh breaks there. 
and there fairly and look at this charred piece. Now, how did that happen when it doesn't look burned underneath the layer of bark? So indeed, do our friends or builders of these structures, do they possess the capability of fire either through their bodies energetically, electrically, can they produce it? Very interesting. And I know lots of people are, are finding really <laughs> neat burn pieces and structures. Now this used to be a wall of large branches. And there used to be something, gosh, what was it? Um, there used to be a piece underneath here that made it look like it was being propped up by it. By it. And that's gone now, even though it's fallen between the V of this live tree and it didn't need it. It was like a, almost like a joke, like a sense of humor, like, oh, look, this stick is holding up this big piece of wood. But um, this whole side has been really thinned out. And I, I suspect that those, the pieces have been recycled into these new structures. Now, there was always a structure around this tree, these, this clump of birches, but it's But it's now more defined as a circular teepee. Before it was an interesting collection of wood placed in between the V of those trees, of the birches, and there's now a more circular base to it, a more deliberate um, style and design. Look, there's a little entrance. And uh, again, using that same place, that same location, just more so now. So isn't this something, I almost didn't come here today. I was just driving back from another place down the, down the highway where I recorded, uh, I made another video of a changing structure, actually a new structure. And I thought, well, maybe I should stop by here. And I almost didn't because I thought, well, I was just here a couple weeks ago, just here. I'm so glad I did. This is remarkable. This is so special. I haven't even quite done the All count. All right, so I'm gonna do the count here. I'm gonna count new structures first. One. Well, my fingers freeze. Two new structures. Three, four new structures. And that's it. Nope. Five new structures. That one up there is new. Then this one just dismantled, dismantled, taken down. That one's been, been done up, like, a, like an updo, I guess, or whatever that's called. And that one along the big birch has changed it's been had sticks removed and the the clump of birches down there that one's just been given an upgrade so there we have it i didn't do the counting maybe you can but what a special area i'm going to come back i want to come back with the first snow hopefully that'll be soon so thanks for being with me here folks this is super exciting so uh so glad to share this with you take care hope you're all having a great holiday bye